The Wright brothers didn't invent flight. There were men before them, like Otto Lilienthal, that made their own revolutionary contributions to the development of flight. His book, Bird Flight as the Basis of Aviation, was beautifully illustrated with over 23 years of experiments and observations of bird flight. This book set the stage for his own flying machines and inspired the Wright brothers to create their own. Otto had figured out how to achieve lift, but he had no stable way of controlling his gliders. If a wind struck the glider, he would shift his centre of gravity by throwing his legs in the direction the wind came from. This would correct the flight, provided he hadn't tipped too far already. In 1896, a powerful wind hit his glider, and he was unable to recover. The crash resulted in his untimely death. This affected the Wright brothers deeply and inspired them to continue Otto's life work. They improved on Otto's experimental lift data, allowing their planes to achieve more lift, and they created a custom lightweight engine to power their plane. But their biggest contribution was creating a stable plane with full control. To have full control of an aircraft, we need to have control of rotation around the three principal X, Y and Z axes. Rotation around the X axis is called roll, and the Wright brothers invented an ingenious wing warping mechanism to control it. Using a system of pulleys and wires, the pilot could bend the wings so one side would angle downwards while the opposite side angled upwards, causing an increase in lift on the upward facing side and a decrease in lift on the downward facing side, thus causing a turning moment around the X axis. Rotation around the Z axis is called pitch and it controls the elevation. The pilot could control the elevator with a lever to increase or decrease the angle of attack. This would increase or decrease the lift and again cause a turning moment around the Z axis. The final rotation is called the yaw, and it is controlled by the rudder, which works similarly to the elevator and controls the rotation around the y-axis. With these innovations, the Wright brothers created a plane that wasn't just a novelty toy, it had practical applications, and with the outbreak of World War I just around the corner, these applications would soon be exploited and developed quickly. Today, planes come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but the primary principles of control developed by the Wright brothers remain the same. The Wright brothers didn't invent flight, they perfected it. If you'd like to learn more about the Wright Brothers and the Wright Flyer, you can visit my website here. For my next video, I will be discussing the development of supersonic flight and why wings are sometimes angled backwards.